Hey there, it's Billy Hofacker from TrainingForMMAFitness.com and I am at uh, Total Body Bootcamp and Performance Center. I have a few exercises I want to show you today that you can use band. A lot of people think you need all this fancy equipment to do some great exercises. Not true at all. A couple of these exercises focus on the hips, but you know how important the hips are for combat sports, whether it's wrestling, MMA, BJJ, it's all in the hips, whether it's elbow escaping, hip heisting, powering a takedown, whatever it is, a lot of it comes from the hips. First exercise is a resistant hip thruster, and I'm using bands here. So here I just have a couple of kettlebells holding the bands down. You might want to get some heavy dumbbells. You might want to double up the bands. You might want to uh, lengthen them a little bit more to give yourself more resistance. But the idea is to do a hip thruster with the band. And for this one, you want to activate the glutes by heels on the floor and driving those hips up as hard as you can. Driving those hips into it. And obviously the, the heavier the band or the multiple bands that you have, the, the more of a resistance that's going to be. So it's a great exercise for those, for those hips. A couple other exercises, one that you may have thought of, but just in case you haven't, if you're real good at push-ups, you might think that it's not a good exercise anymore to develop that upper body pushing strength. What you can do is wrap the band around for some resistance. You could do it right under the armpits, or you can do it this way. A little bit harder probably because this is, makes the band more taut. So you can get in your push-up position here, lower yourself down, and it's hard. It's a lot harder than obviously a regular push-up. A lot of resistance. This is a pretty, pretty thick band. You can obviously progress that by putting your hands on something unstable like medicine balls or even kettlebells just for a different angle. You do the same thing with the band. Another one that you probably haven't seen, it's a great addition. You could do this one. You could do it as a, you could pair it as a, an exercise, a strength workout. You can do it as a warm up. Real good for the hips. It's a reaction type exercise. It's going to work your coordination. Very good for Jiu Jitsu and MMA. You can hold this band similar to how you did on the push ups. And you're sitting back here. And what you're going to do is simultaneously, you're going to drive your hips forward to power movements. So you're trying to do it as fast as you can. And you're going to press the band out. So you're using your power from the hips. So not like this, but really thrust those hips forward and drive that band out. So this is something you definitely want to do with some speed, get those hips all the way forward, and that's going to really help you in a lot of situations that you're in where you have to get those hips forward to drive into somebody or take them down. So try out these three exercises, add them to your program. You can, again, you can pair them. Two strength exercises you have there, actually they're all strength exercises. So give them a shot, let me know what you think, and they'll definitely help you with your game. Thanks for watching.